Okay, so here's the data set that I'm going to use um, to explain ANOVA to you guys. So this data set has three groups in it. So group one is five hours, group two is 10 hours, and group C, or in group in column C, is 20 hours. And what this represents is how many hours a week a student studies and then their score, hypothetical score, on a quiz at the end of the week. So each of these groups has different students in it, but the dependent variable of what is measured is always um, a test. So ANOVA, let's talk a little bit about ANOVA before we get into the analysis. There's really two criteria for ANOVA. One, you have to have more than two groups. Keep in mind, in the last module, we talked about t-tests. Remember, t for two, two groups or two testings. ANOVA is when you have more than two groups. You can have three groups, four groups, five groups, as many groups as you want. And each of these groups has to have different people in them. Okay, so ANOVA, a little more complicated than a t-test, but kind of like a t-test. Um, and that's really the only criteria for ANOVA, but... It's a two-step problem. So the first step is going to be answering the question, is there a difference between the groups? Okay. So the first step, first analysis, is going to say, is there a difference between the groups? This is where we're going to look at our um, significance level. If we look at these groups, look at their averages, are they significantly different? Okay, the second step. Now the second step is actually optional. The second step answers where are the differences. Now again, because we have more than two groups now, we need a little more um, analysis. So the first step we're going to do, is there a difference between these groups? Second step is optional. If there is a significant difference, we're going to look at where the differences are. Is group one different than group three? Is group one different from group two? Is group two different from group three? On and on and on. We have to look at where the differences are. We have to get really specific. So optional. Where are the differences? Only do this if step one is significant. Okay? So again, We've got number of hours spent studying, grades on an exam. So we're going to go to data, data analysis, ANOVA single factor is what we're going to select here. We're going to select all of my data. So everything here, all at once, select everything, including those labels. Now we have to tell Excel, what are your, what is your data grouped by? Are your groups in columns? are your groups in rows. In this case, I have them in columns. So group one is in column A, group two is in column B, group three is in column C. So I'm going to leave that as columns. Labels in the first row, we're going to make sure that is checked. And then we also have to tell Excel where to put our output. I'm going to put it there. Once we click OK, we'll see we get a nice big block of information. Um, a little different than a t-test, but it has some of the same information. And I'm going to shrink up some of this so it's easy to see. So what we see here, this is answering step one. Is there a difference between the groups? Okay, so here's my groups. Here's their averages. I'm going to highlight this. So we can see the average grade on an exam for group one, who studied five hours, was 76.6. The average grade for group two, who studied 10 hours, was 85.2. Group three, 20 hours, was 91.6 for, for a grade. So we can see already there's some differences here, but now we want to know, is it significant? So we go down to our second box. Okay, We're going to look between groups, because we're looking at the differences between the groups. So degrees of freedom, we're going to need that. We're also going to need this within groups, degrees of freedom, so we know how many people um, are in our data set. Okay? This F, this is our test st uh, statistic. Just like with t-tests, we had a t-stat. Um, with ANOVAs, we have an f-stat. 
and our p-value is here. And we follow the same rules as before. If our p-value, if less than 0.05, there is a significant difference, okay? This is definitely less than 0.05. So we know from step one, is there a difference between the groups? Yes, there is, because this is less than 0.05. So now second step, since it's significant, we have to do this step. Where are the differences? What group is significant from the other ones? Now this is a little more time intensive. Um, if you have a significant result, you have to do t-tests between the groups to determine um, which ones are significant. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here so we can see more of my sheet. And I'm gonna start with group one. I'm gonna compare group one to group two using a t-test, just like we did in the last chapter. Again, remember, different people in the groups, this is gonna be an independent samples t-test. Okay, so two sample equal variances. Follow the same procedure that we did in the last one. We're taking group one, comparing it to group two, have labels. Now output range, I'm gonna put this below my ANOVA box, because I know this is step two. So two sample, assuming equal variances. Again, look at my means, 76 compared to 85. There's my degrees of freedom. There's my T stat. And there's my T value. Oh, sorry. There's my p-value. Okay. And again, if less than 0.05, as we can see, this is not less than 0.05. It's 0.058. So if it's more, greater than 5, no significant differences. Now you notice this is really, really close um, to 0.05, but it's still greater than 0.05. So we're going to say no significant differences here. Okay. Now the next one we have to do, we have to compare group one to group three. So again, another t-test. Go to data, data analysis. We've already got group one as selected as variable one. So we're going to go here to variable two, select group three. I'm going to move this below my other output. Again, remember to make sure to not overwrite your data. So when I compare group one to group three, we can see 76.6 versus 91.6. The difference is bigger. So here's our t-stat. Here is our p-value. Look at that p-value. If less than 0.05, significant differences, okay? So we know, step one of the ANOVA said, yes, these groups are different. Step two, the t-tests are saying, yes, group one and group three are significantly different, okay? Now the last one we have to do, we have to compare group two to group three. Same process, two sample. I'm gonna change my first variable to be group two. My second variable is group three already, so I'll just leave it. Change your output. I'll put it below this. Click OK. Looking at this, group two compared to group three. Go down degrees of freedom, our T stat, our P value. Oh man, look at that. If less than 0.05, there's a significant difference. Okay, so that's how we do the analysis, okay? Step, step one is this piece, okay? That is step one. Step two, if this is significant here in our p-value, our t-tests, finding out where the differences are, okay? We figured out Group one and group two, they're really close to being significant, but they're not significantly different. Group one and group three, 
are significantly different, and group two and group three are also significantly different because this is less than 0.05. So that's the analysis portion. In the next video, I'll show you guys how to write this up.